guys, today I am making something. You guys have watched the Tannerites, they're on YouTube, they're a great family, we love them. Their daughter, Danielle, is having a unicorn birthday party today. And we made our unicorn frappuccinos a few weeks ago. Link the video here if you want to see it. We talked about her unicorn party because we both love unicorns. Back in the day, when I was in high school, before Unicorns Wall sent really cool to everyone, I had a unicorn club with all my friends and we would have a unicorn party and I would make these awesome unicorn cakes. I'm not kidding, I really would and they were awesome. So today, I'm gonna make a unicorn cake for Danielle. But I'm gonna try it something a little different because there's gonna be more people. So I'm gonna try to make more. We'll see how this goes. This is like a DIY unicorn cake. Also, laugh at me. Also, so just we'll see if we can do this. So I got some Funfetti, because unicorns are colorful. I'm square in a circle, and I'm gonna kinda merge them to have like one big unicorn head and like a lot of mane going on. Every color of frosting you could possibly imagine. I got pink, blue, green, um, white, and purple, and then I have Fuji if I need it. Lots of sprinkles, ice cream cone for the horn. It's gonna be awesome. And we have a little surprise of what we're gonna put in the middle. They're gonna be surprised. We're not gonna tell them what's in the middle until they bite it. So here we go. I'm not gonna lie, we just had to wash this for like 10 minutes because there's cookie dough in it from like a week ago or just maybe cemented in there. But we got it out. Does anybody else just like eat cookie dough raw? Sometimes I'll just make it and let it sit and then I'll eat it. Well, I used to, I try not to anymore. Cookie dough is like better than cookies. All right, fun fetty cake mix number one. <laughs> Lots of sprinkles. You guys notice that sprinkles don't taste like anything? Nothing. Yeah. They taste like nothing. Just my personal opinion. One cup of water, half cup of oil. Also, these are my favorite because I don't have to get seven cups to like measure anything. One cup of water, half cup veggie oil. Good thing about these cake mixes, they're so easy. Just add a few ingredients and then boom, you're like done. You just gotta put it in the oven, which I need to preheat the oven. I need to think about that. Boom. One batch down. Batch number two. By the way, I make some really good funfetti cookies. You want the recipe? Let me know. Maybe I'll make them in a different video. They are so good. Man, I wish you guys were here with me because I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I think it'll turn out okay. I hope. I put the eggs in and the powder, but I did not put the water or oil in. It's so thick, it's like not even leaving the... <laughs> Still really good though. You guys I haven't made cake in so long. I mean, something's burning and this is so stupid. I know I should only put half of it in. It's like overflowing and going to the bottom. So I need to take this out right now. This is not going well. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I normally don't make this kind of stuff. I mean, I did in high school, but it's been a while. Should have followed my heart. This would be acceptable if Bryce was making the cake, but this is just embarrassing. I'm gonna pour some of that batter into here. I should have done that in the first place. I knew I should have. Bad move. I was just thinking it'd kind of overflow and cook, and then I could just cut the cake. That didn't, that didn't work. I'm only gonna put the second batch of this in, or like half of this in. It's good to know, because I was planning on making four big cakes. But I can just use a half of each batch, and that would save me a ton of time. Lesson learned, if you don't have a big pan, don't go big. Let's throw this in. Circle one is done. I gotta wait for the square. What I think I'm gonna do is put little layers, like make another batch, but just make it smaller layer, and put it on top, so that I can put frosting in the middle and our secret ingredient, which you guys have to wait till the end to find out. Doesn't look pretty, but with all the frosting stuff, you'll never know. Okay, so I just pulled that one out, and I am gonna somehow magically put it on the pan, get it in a shape that kinda looks like unicorn, and then I'm gonna freeze it and then start on the next batch. You can hear them popping. Yeah. It's ready for the final. You know what, this actually turned out better than I thought it would. Here we go. Da -da -da -da. So cute! I'm actually like way happy. That's not bad, right? That's not bad. I used the ice cream cone for its horn, put some sparkles on there, used some European candy for its eye. We good. Let's get in this cake. 
Her birthday party is like right now. Yeah, let's go. So let's go. It made it to the home. Oh. Success. Super it's proud great. of Nels. Rocked it. <laughs> Who thinks Nels should start a cooking channel, right? A cake baking cooking channel. Comment below. Pinterest DIY. She said she could do a DIY fail, but no, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think if you want Nelly to make your cake, comment below. It's time for Jack of the Horn on the Unicorn Game. Yay! Did you miss me? Did you miss me babysitting you? Yeah. I miss babysitting him. They're the best kids ever. One, two, three. Adventure, another amazing family. We're with the Tannerites, an amazing family. Check both our channels out because we love them so much. Put in the right direction. We're actually not too. Come on, Jack. Yeah, Jack Sparrow over here. Right there. Put your arm down. Put your arm. Oh! We're making Johnny go. Okay. Yeah. Wow, he's being very met methodical about this. We got height here. Oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> Just do it, Johnny. Oh, so close. So close. How do you feel about your effort? I thought I thought it was pretty good. I think I would have nailed it. Like, look at the angle. Look at the you angle totally of that. It. Bam. Oh, I wasn't even. I didn't even consider the angle. Oh, when I put my well, that's true. You held it. You're the, I had the only height. one. I had the height and the angle. If you move that in place, it's exactly where You're it should right. be. I think Chad? you won just because yeah. of that. Okay, so we're playing unicorn tasting. Basically, there's one eater, and the other person on the other side of them has to feed them. The first one to finish wins. And it's wonderful, colorful ice cream. Oh. Oh. Cool. Did you get it? No, it's in my hand. Put it back in the bowl. Go. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Did you eat it? Up, up. Oh, yeah. Forward. Where? Up, up. All the ground. Up. success. If you guys want to play it, it's so funny. One ice cream, she dropped it and picked it back up, picked it back up and there was like grass in it. So funny. Guys, Allie's done it again. <laughs> I help up my mom and my friends. If you guys didn't watch our video of us making DIY frappuccinos with the Tannerites, you can watch it somewhere over here. And uh, Allie's like got it down to a science. I have it all memorized. And they are so good. So if you want to learn what we put in it, look at our video and you'll see, or look at their video. They're terrible trick no. candles. They are terrible trick candles. Alright, there you go. You are officially 13. Yay! You're a teenager! Happy birthday! 
day dare you reel. Happy birthday to you.